Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Joy. So, we all love Jennifer Lawrence and get excited every time a new J Law film comes out. So naturally, I was pretty excited about Joy. It's a nice female empowerment type movie about a go-getter, a strong woman. Unfortunately, that strong woman is put in a not-so-strong movie. It's not a complete disaster, but it's definitely far from a big success. So let's go ahead and get the positives out of the way first, shall we? The biggest positive is Jennifer Lawrence herself. I thought she was very good, very convincing in the role. It's a nice, deep, rich role for her to really show off her acting talents, and I think she nails it. And the story that Jennifer Lawrence is portraying is also very compelling. I think it kept the movie interesting just because it was such a fun, like, rags to riches kind of tale. And she was just a compelling character, a nice, deep, layered character who had a large progression throughout the film. So she didn't just stay stagnant. She moved, she evolved somewhat. There were some parts where I wish she would evolve a bit more, but overall just a rich character and a rich story that is intriguing. It keeps you captivated through most of it. There are some lulls and I really did enjoy the ending. It's a nice uplifting tale for your holiday. It leaves you on a high note. However, from there, it gets much more complicated. I think David O. Russell is trying to pull a Quentin Tarantino and just keeps casting the people in his movies over and over and over again. We have Jennifer Lawrence, we have Bradley Cooper, we have Robert De Niro just in every single movie he makes these days. And it's getting a little bit old. I think it's time to move on to maybe a different cast. I'd like to see what Jennifer Lawrence can do in serious films outside of David O. Russell features. I know a lot of people won't agree, but I was not a fan of American Hustle. I didn't think it was all that great and highly overrated. And I actually would put Joy above American Hustle, but it's nowhere near Silver Linings Playbook. It just doesn't carry the excitement, the emotional heft, and it just feels much more stale. And that's disappointing with a Russell because this is by far, including American Hustle, his most stale film, his most safe film. It paints by the numbers. And the dialogue isn't that great. The script is sloppy. The storytelling is all over the place. Like, I just didn't really like the narration used. And they had the grandma narrate, which is super random when you're watching the movie. And, yeah, the whole direction was just a mess to me. So, this is David O. Russell didn't have his voice really in here. And when he tried to inject it, it just set the movie all over the place into sloppy weirdness. And outside of Jennifer Lawrence, the acting I didn't think was all that great. Robert De Niro was fine, and Bradley Cooper was fine. He wasn't really given much to do. But then you get to Virginia Madsen, who was terrible. I just, I, I was kind of shocked, actually, watching that performance take place. And the same with Isabella Rossellini. Just, I mean, both of those two were cartoons. Straight up cartoons in the movie. And I, I was just, just kind of stunned watching it. And so many situations in the film just happen so otherworldly to be such a true, you know, to be a true story and have these straight out of a textbook, straight cartoon um, situations unfold was also a little bit shocking. And so overall, I say Joy is a rental. You don't need to pay movie theater prices to see this movie because it's just such a mixed bag. I don't think it's bad. This is definitely not good. And you can definitely wait for it to come out on Redbox. So, that has been my review of Joy. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Joy? And if you've seen it, what did you think? Let me know either in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!